Hey fellow woodcutters, Topsaw here. Today's an exciting day. I have this Forest Scientific four foot by eight foot CNC router. We use it in the high school wood shop. Things beautiful. Uh, however, when we surface slabs that we mill, uh, we're a little underpowered. So we have this Porter cable router here. Um, it, you can adjust the speeds on it, but not um, with the programming. So what we're gonna do today is trade out that CNC router for a spindle, the guy from Forest Scientific, I actually think the owner of the company's coming out to do the swap over. I'll show you the parts right here. So this is the box that came with the spindle, all the control wires, the new hood. There's the spindle there. And then I think there's like an inverter right there. So we'll see how this goes today. I'm excited to change it out and how the new spindle works. So pulling out the old three and a half horse Porter cable router. And we're putting in this five horse spindle here. There's the information sheet on there. But because it's three phase, it'll be much higher torque, a lot quieter. And it's a high frequency spindle. There's a new spindle mounting onto the plate where the router came off. And then this is an inverter here. All right, so the new spindle is installed. Pulling the wire through the track there. And then there's the inverter right there. A little more electrical. And then originally the Porter cable router was only on off. So we have to add a small circuit board there right. that'll convert digital analog to digital so that we have variable speed mm -hmm. on the new spindle right. so we can program speed to, to get my four conductor wire i went ahead and used a phone cable because i figured that's data level it's all really low current and then to switch the uh main power in this box on i put a power cord that's on the original output to the um, spindle, but it's wired to be on all the time. So as soon as the control comes on, it powers this up. So now, uh, when we, well, this will be the first try of this, oh. but I'm sure it's going to be right. Now, I'm just going to come to here, cancel, get out of my input screen or output screen, and on, and there we go. Listen to that. And then yeah. we have our spindle speed right here. And that would also be controlled by an S uh, code in the uh, M3, turns the spindle on. S18,000 would be 18,000 RPMs. S10,000 10, would be 10,000 right RPMs. Is that 10 right there? Yep. But it is quiet. Yeah. So that's full speed right there, 18,000 RPMs. It is it's quiet. Most noise is going to be the one that's All right, spindle's all in. There's the inverter wired in. Missing a collet still, I have one on order. Let's turn that thing on and see how quiet it is. Can't even hear it. How fast is that? So that's been in at 10,000 RPM. Turn it up to 18,000. It's gonna help a lot with our programming of feeds and speeds. So you can also just set the speed there. There's 140 revolutions per minute. Well, there it is. New spindles all installed. Uh, very exciting. The inverter mounted down there. The controller got put in there to go from analog to digital. So we have that variable speed, uh, more horsepower, more torque, and a whole lot quieter because of the high frequency spindle over the router. It's all pretty exciting. There's the old router out and the spindle in. Uh, please comment on what you think about this change out from the router to the spindle. I'll also post updates over time and let you know how it goes. Uh, just listening it to it purr was awfully nice. So again, this is a Forest Scientific CNC 4x8 router with a vacuum table and now with a 5 horse spindle. So that's kind of exciting. I'll go ahead and just blast the end of this video with the old router at 18,000.